Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here with PA Creative. Today I'm going to be showing you how to add an image to your menu. Now I'm going to be using Divi, but this will actually work with any WordPress menu because we're working in the navigation area of WordPress. And But then we're going to um, show you just a couple things, how you can style that. So you might want to add this to your sub menu um, or even the mega menu, which we have tutorials on both of those things. And we're going to show you a little bit how to style that. This would be great like if you want to advertise a product or a service and you want to have it stand out when someone hovers over um, that drop down menu and then they can link to that product or service. All right, let's get started show you how to do this. Okay, so if you're watching this on YouTube, there's going to be a link in the description down below. You're going to want to check that out to go over to the blog post that you're seeing here because we're going to be um, having some code that you're going to be copying and then at the end we're going to have some snippets so you want to at least have that open in another tab all right so you know adding images um we could add them to our main level items but we're going to be adding them to um, the sub menu and we're going to start i actually have a demo here i have um just a menu module set up right here and then i have the navigation here so it's really just i just threw in some stuff here for our example and we're going to start with creating a custom link. Now, you could just use a page because think about that image in your in your sub menu. And if you want someone to be able to click on it and go to a page, well, then you're going to want to add that page. Like if I want people to go to the services page, well, then I'm going to be working with that. Um, but just for our example here, I'm just going to add a, um, a placeholder and say, um, well, for now, I'm just going to say image. But. We're going to have to add some code there to that link text. So I'm just going to add it and we're going to put it underneath services. Okay, so this is where um, you need to do a couple of things. Open the, this up and you'll see that I have CSS classes turned on. We're going to need that. Um, we don't need it quite yet, but when we style it. So you're going to want to find that under screen options. This nifty little toggle here at the top and make sure that CSS classes is on. Like I said, we don't need that right now, but we're gonna want we're gonna want that. So if you see that um, and yours looks different, that's why because I have that on. Okay, so back in the tutorial, um, I have this code right here. So let's copy that. All right, and that we're actually gonna put it in the um, what do they call the um, label, the navigation label here where I wrote image. So let's just paste that in there. And obviously, you can see that it says source equals insert image URL here. Well, we know that that's not the actual link. That's where we want to put a link. So let's go over to our media library and grab an image that we want to use. Okay, so I'm in my media library, and I want this image right here. It's an image of a fisherman that I took in Ithaca, New York on our anniversary trip. This is... um. I think it falls, but anyway, let's go down here and copy this here. This is the copy link. Yeah, we're gonna copy the copy link. So like that's just the link to the image. So pick whatever image you want. And then back here in the menu where it says insert image URL here, be very careful, go between the quotation marks and we're gonna insert, you can hit you know control V. Okay, so there we added our image. So let's make sure that we save the menu. And then we're gonna go take a look what that looks like. All right, so you can see that under the services item, we now have a drop down, and there's our image. And it behaves like a normal sub menu link here. So if you're wondering how to style this, I'm gonna show you a couple examples, but I wanna remind you that I have a full tutorial on styling the Divi sub menu. So you're gonna to wanna to go find that. Um, that's actually linked in our blog post, but we cover you know, the three sections of the submenu, and this is gonna apply here. So you're gonna be looking at the same um, CSS classes, and you can even use some of our examples here that you're seeing um, to style this image. But I'm gonna show you just a couple here on this tutorial, and it's, it's you know, you could do whatever you want, but I'm just gonna put like a border around it, and I don't like how it changes like to like an opacity of 0.7 on hover. So I'm going to get rid of that and I'm going to get rid of the padding. So that's what this snippet here will do. First of all, back in our menu, remember I pointed out about having the CSS classes turned on. We're going to put a class in here and style it, target that. So I'm using this one here, PA menu image. 
So copy that and put it into your menu item and then be sure to save the menu. And then once we go to our page, we can add um, this whole snippet here. Let's copy that. And then let's go back to where we have our menu and um, we'll be sure to refresh because we've added, um, updated the menu. So let's update that. So remember the image is square and it has the padding around it. It has that uh, fade effect on hover. So let's go over, um, I'm actually gonna go to theme options this time, paste our code in there. This is under Divi theme options, the custom CSS box. And that's gonna apply this um, if we have that menu anywhere on our website. So again, it's taking the border radius, making it rounded, getting rid of the padding, and then getting rid of that change of opacity on hover. So let's save that. And then we'll go take a look of the effect that we did to that image. Okay, here we go. All right, so you can see there's no more padding around it. And when I hover over, it doesn't do that change of opacity and we have a rounded border. And again, you could, you know, remember to link this to whatever page you want. Like you could have a product here, um, maybe a feature service that you want to advertise here, like under services, like one of your main things and it's kind of like a little billboard right under here in your menu and then you could add you know more menu the normal menu items below this so okay so that's how you add an image to your wordpress menu if you like that be sure to subscribe we have lots of tutorials planned um i think at any given point we have in like 35 drafts that are waiting to be published so be sure to subscribe and that's the kind of tutorials that you'll be getting all right, well, hope you've enjoyed this. We'll see you guys in the next video.